even make a joke. That is, look, look how cool that was. It's just really a great place to be. Like the small community, you see it all, and just being around this atmosphere and like having the cows all around us, having to sleep on couches with like my brothers. It's our Eureka. Kids were just getting a little bit more out of it. They were getting a little bit more of the team aspect of it. Remember this time in Geary. Year, Dan Hodge was here, the Smith family is usually here, Zach Esposito is here, Leroy Smith was here today. Kind of like Hollywood of, of wrestling in this town in western Oklahoma. It's awesome. <laughs> so the way it started, Tulsa Union guys were talking, I was like, hey, this is a great tournament. You, you would love it. Tough teams from Oklahoma, a couple from out of state. It's a little bit different. It's blind draw. And I thought, man, this sounds good. So we did it. In it and during it, I remember walking away and thinking, man, we're not going back. <laughs> we're done. But you get to the end of the year picnic, you get to May, you get through freestyle season, and you kind of hear like every story the kids are talking about are connected to Geary, Oklahoma. Second year, we went to Mean Jeans Ranch, and then things really started changing. Then the guys really started getting hooked on it, and we've been back every year since. I came here in my freshman, sophomore, and now this year, and like I just love the experience. Of it. I love hanging out with my brothers, my coaches. Like we're getting to where we want to be, and at this ranch, I love it. Are you going in? Yeah, I'm going in. Are you jump in the water? No, no, like that's not me. Check this out. You got one frog at the bottom, of this and there's still a lot. They just, no. they just go like three months and suck their bodies down. And they're like, yo, okay, and jump in there. Like you gotta get, you get this frog. I held his leg, got him there, got the frog going, picked up the thing's heart beat and everything. No way, really? Yeah, I want to make sure that it's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yep, you're kind of forced to be with the guys, and it's not your typical like hotel room. That, like we're all put together. It's such a unique experience. It's like you can't you can't replicate it. We're in the middle of nowhere, man. I mean, we don't have cell reception in the ranch. It's kind of just us together, and you know, you just get closer and closer as a team, which I love. Great people, you know, we get to have some fun. All the whole team staying in the ranch. We're a lot tighter for the rest of the season. You know what I mean? Okay, 95 and up. Help me out with all these uh, drinks and stuff in the back. Everyone else, let's go in there, check your weight. Let's get our shoes on, we'll get a little warm up before the way in. Be a pretty good deal that we come out here. The wrestling's great. We're gaining great experience wrestling. We don't see these guys, you know, you just don't see teams like this, so it, it's good for our guys. You know, our, our travel is calculated and it's here's our itinerary, this is what we're doing. I hand them an itinerary to this, but it changes, you know, whether it's weather, whether it's flights get bumped, like our guys just aren't used to that part of it. It's a huge part of college wrestling that they'll have to get used to. So for us, it's just a huge growth thing. Put the guy down, trend left, trend right, pop left, return, work on top. I'll tell you when to stop. Man, it's my favorite thing. I love this tournament. Like, if I had to pick one tournament in the season to go to, this would be it. One, two, three, woo! You know, I, I didn't like making the call. What? I, here, I think other places where the, the bad guy, which is fine, which our kids kind of like, I don't think I feel it that much here. These fans, if you watch, they truly like wrestling. Like, someone just came up to me, he's like, hey, don't worry, those boos mean we like you. <laughs> you know? Thanks. Now, Piccolo tries to sit it through. No score. This is the best scramble of the tournament so far. It's exciting when they're rooting against you. Fans get on us a lot. You know, uh, it's always nice to see a Blair wrestler and you know take a loss or or get taken down. And coming out here and having 
like the Oklahoma fans like, getting on you, screaming, hey, that's Stall, and what's he doing on top? Like, I love it. For Piccolo. High crotch! He's in on the way! He's got both legs! He got it! Piccolo with a high crotch in over! We feel like half of Oklahoma loves us, half of Oklahoma hates us, especially here. God, these refs are not that great. The officiating is a little different here, I'll be honest with you. I mean, they'll, they'll let you run an arm bar and you know, rip that arm off and it's okay. Like, they, don't, they just don't stop. And hey, it's consistent though. It's such a, such a different environment. I've never seen anything like Geary, Oklahoma. A lot of great people doing good things for us and allowing us to compete here. It's, no, it's not like any other tournament, I'll tell you that. I always say, listen, I, I, want, to, I want to live out here when I'm older. Like when I'm done with school, when I got a family, I want to, I want to take them out here and let them experience this, because it's awesome. Yeah.